Meghan Markle court case, Duchess braced for showdown with father as he vows to testify. Meghan Markle's father Thomas Markle has vowed to testify in court over the publication of a letter he sent to his daughter in 2018. Meghan Markle, 39, is suing Associated Newspapers Limited, ANL, publisher of the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online, over an article which reproduced parts of the handwritten letter sent to Thomas Markle, 76, in August 2018. ITV royal correspondent Chris Ship has since discussed how Mr. Markle plans to appear in court. Speaking on ITV's Royal Rota, producer Lizzie Robinson said, There was a statement from her father, Thomas Markle, read out. It said how the case is causing him anxiety and he wants to get it over as quickly as possible. He talked about how he continues to feel misrepresented and he is planning to travel to London to give evidence in person to give his side of the story. Mr. Ship added, the other part of the story is he might not be doing it at all because Meghan has applied for a summary judgment application. It's been granted which means they're going to test whether or not this case can be heard on a summary basis. If it's heard on a summary basis, it'll mean that will be no trial at all. It just means the facts of law will be put out in front of the judge. There will be no witnesses, Meghan's anonymous friends won't be called, Meghan herself and Prince Harry won't be there. At a high court hearing in London on Thursday, attended remotely by lawyers and members of the press, Mr Justice Warby agreed to adjourn the trial, which was due to start on January 11 next year, until the autumn following an earlier private hearing. The judge said the private hearing was necessary to protect the confidentiality of the information relied on by Meghan in her application to postpone the trial. Granting the application to adjourn the trial, he said, the right decision in all the circumstances is to grant the application to adjourn. That means that the trial date of January 11, 2021, will be vacated and the trial will be refixed for a new date in the autumn. The confidential information was said by the judge to